Alrighty, you guys, what is up? It's Hunter here, back at y'all with another video. Uh, I know it's gonna be kind of late today uploading. Uh, I've been, after I got a football, we didn't get out today uh, until about 8.30. And uh, I was in town the rest of the day after that. I was in town for a good while and stuff like that. And then here at 7 o'clock, I got something I gotta go do. So, uh, yeah, that's about the only time I'm gonna have to do this video. Uh, I'm gonna be getting up a wheel tomorrow and doing a video. I do not know what we're gonna do it on yet, though. Uh, anyways, uh, today I'm gonna be dipping on some Copenhagen mint for y'all. Uh, last time I checked, it was a little under half a can. Maybe, maybe about half a can. About half a can. So, they dipping on some coat mint for y'all. Uh, was gonna try and get up a wheel today. It didn't work out. Uh, had something come up that I gotta go do. So, we will get together tomorrow and get our video done together. And I think after I get done eating here in a minute, I'm going to go over there with Frank and do a video with him because he had some trouble uploading his video uh, from last night. We was going to do one together and then it got pretty late and I had to, you know, be up for football this morning. So, I didn't really get to finish helping him with his video last night. And then he had some trouble uploading it today, so, because he had to do it by himself over again. Something happened, it messed up, and we had to, we was going to have to redo it. And he had to redo it last night after I left, and he tried to upload it today, and it uploaded 11 seconds of it, like, it uploaded, no, it uploaded the intro and one second after the intro. Because he's got a 10 second intro, as I do. So... I'm probably going to go over and try being Frank's video, or see if he wants to redo his video. And then, hopefully, I mean, because I have to be ready by 7.10 for what I got to do. So, that don't leave me much time, because it's five, going on 5.30 now. So. Hmm. Hey, I ain't never even noticed that. The bottom of this hat, all right, it's a tan Yeti hat. Uh, bottom of this hat screen. I done had this hat for fuck a year now, and just now noticed that the bottom piece of that hat's green. That's too small. Now I done messed up the pack. I hate when I do that. I go in to grab a dip, and then. <clears throat> reach in there to grab the dip and I go to pull it out and it'll fall apart and leave me a little pinch and I sit there and like, nah, that's too small. Man. I have to repack the shit and everything else. Happy me to find my, all right. So I told you I was recording on my 5S because this thing's starting to run out of memory for some reason. Uh, my phone case clip for this does not hold this. So I'm using to hold up my telephone, Jack Daniels bottles. The other one, it's got about yay much in it. That one's completely empty. I'll tell y'all what. I ain't never been too big on fruity drinks. Like Smirnoff, stuff like that. But Smirnoff screwdrivers are really good, actually. Uh, I had one a little bit earlier after I got back from town. And we'll post a video for y'all too. So uh, if y'all are watching this and have not yet watched his video, go check his video out. Uh, he did a dip review. I'll let him, you know. I'm not just going to go out and say what he does his stuff on. And, you know, I want y'all to go over and see what he does it on. So at least y'all get, yeah, I know that y'all go over there.
to look and whether it be something y'all want to see or not at least y'all went over to the channel so he did a review on y'all he did, had a pretty good video put up today he made us a new intro uh i'm gonna be using the old intro for now i mean i've got the new intro but for right now i'm gonna use the old intro because i put a good bit of time into that one and i've only used it for like five videos now so as of right now, I will still be using the old intro. Y'all let us know which one y'all like better. Uh, and that'll be the one that we use. I mean, Will, he'll still probably use his if he wants to, but if y'all like his better, I'll stop using mine and start using the one that he made for us today. So, what in the hell is in my dip? All right, so I guess I'm gonna want to talk about, but I don't want to intrude on Frankie stuff. So we'll talk about that at a later date. But uh, I got something else. Oh, uh, pretty sure if any of y'all watch the news, y'all know about the uh, gorilla over in. Hold on, I'll tell y'all where I think it's Baltimore. No. Cincinnati. Alright. Y'all heard about the, if y'all watch the news, y'all heard about the Cincinnati, or the kid in Cincinnati that fell into the gorilla uh, exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo. And they had to shoot the gorilla and everything like that. And there's been a big debate about, like, if shooting a gorilla was right, uh, why didn't they try to use tranquilizer? Uh, how'd the kid get into the gorilla enclosement? Uh, and honestly, all right, his mama said that he turned, she turned around for a split second and the kid was gone. All right. Think about it like this. There's a little kid who's going to crawl through this metal fence, walk across this good bit patch of grass, barbed wire fence, or well, not on those barbed wire, but wire fencing to get into this gorilla enclosure. If his mother only turned around for a second, how'd he get through the fence, or through the uh, little railing, through the fence, and over that patch of grass and managed to fall into that grill pit if she only turned her back for a second. All right, so I'm not necessarily saying the mom was in the wrong, but maybe she should have been paying a little more attention to her kid. All right, the kid wasn't seriously hurt or anything or I wouldn't be saying nothing like that. He had, I think, a concussion and something else. Uh, but anyway, oh, uh, all right. Then there's the debate on whether or not the gorilla should have been shot. All right. Now I know on the news stuff before there's been kids and stuff that fell into gorilla uh, exhibits and. The gorillas protected them until the staff could get there. They would take them over to the staff. Well, in this case, the gorilla was not friendly. The gorilla 
basically attacked the child as how I see it. He, the kid cornered himself up into a wall, uh, cowering in fear, and the gorilla went over, grabbed him by his uh, shirt, and drug him through the water. For probably about 100 feet. Where he then stopped, set the kid down, and then grabbed him and picked him up and kind of looked him in his eyes. And then put him on his feet. And grabbed his shirt down and slung him again. Alright. Tranquilizers. Alright. Uh, the thing about tranquilizers is for. Bigger animals, they have they take a, a good bit to take an animal down. They take a minute to you know take effect. Well, this is a big silverback gorilla, and they're really big animals. Uh, this is it's an endangered species and all this stuff. Think about tranquilizers. Sometimes they can be ineffective, and pissed the animal off more than it already is. Alright. There's been cases where gorillas have escaped zoos before and been hanging in trees, stuff like that, and they shoot with tranquilizer and it just enrages it even more than it already was. So do I feel like they was right for shooting it? Yes. Because If you shot that grill with tranquilizer and the tranquilizer for some reason did not work or was not effective or took 10 minutes for it to take effect on the gorilla, I mean, because it was a full grown gorilla, or at least it appeared to be full grown. I don't remember how old it was. Hold on. It was a 450-pound gorilla. I heard before how old he was, I do not remember how old he was, but the kid I think was three. Uh, the gorilla was a 450 pound silverback gorilla that was very angry at that kid for falling in his pit. Oh. And the more angry an animal is, kind of like the person, the more adrenaline you have going, the longer it takes for something to hit you. Uh, I don't know if I told y'all or not, my freshman year I tore my ACL. Uh, completely shredded it in a football game and it happened in the first quarter with like four minutes left to go in the first quarter and my adrenaline was going to the point to where I played the rest of the game on the Torrey Shell. After the game when I cooled off and everything and you know my adrenaline stopped flowing I could not walk because my leg would literally do this every time to walk my calf and my thigh so here's my calf here's my thigh and your kneecaps are right there in between it would literally go like this every time i'd walk because there was nothing there holding my knee my or my calf and my thigh together so You know, that's beside the point of everything, but what I'm trying to get at is when our adrenaline is going, there's people that have been known to be shocked and not even know it because of how much their adrenaline is pumping, or be, get stabbed and not even know it. So, imagine shooting a very angry gorilla that adrenaline is pumping with a tranquilizer dart. Think of how long it's going to take to take effect. It took me upwards of two hours to know that how bad I actually hurt myself. I mean, I knew that I'd gotten hurt because 
at first, I mean, I heard a loud pop when I hurt when I hurt my knee, and I couldn't get up at first. My adrenaline started pumping, and I was trying to get up and everything, and eventually I got up and finished playing the game. So, an angry 400 and, I think I said 50 pound gorilla, and a little tranquilizer dart, he probably would have killed that kid if they just shot him with tranquilizer dart. I think the mother should get in trouble for not paying attention to her kid. But I don't think that it was wrong of them to shoot that gorilla because that gorilla was probably going to end up killing that kid if they didn't do what they did. So, I mean, it had took too long for that tranquilizer dart to take an effect to make a difference. So, they're right shooting the grill, in my opinion. Uh, y'all can leave, y'all can go and watch the uh, newscast on CNN.com. Search it on Google. It's a uh, kid falls into gorilla pit. And it pulls up the CNN, or it'll have the CNN link as I believe the first or second uh, link. Y'all can even watch the news broadcast on here. Just search up kid falls in the grill a bit. And, uh, y'all can watch that. And y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all think they were right for shooting that gorilla. Uh, you know, I try not to bring a whole lot of politics and stuff like that in my videos. I try to have more entertainment, but certain times it seems like it'd be more interesting to have some politics. Like, I've got something else I'm going to talk about after Frank gets his video uploaded. For some fact is I don't want to do it before Frankie puts his up because he came up with the idea first. Or well, we came up with the idea together, but we came up with the idea to do it on his channel. So I'll let him upload his video on that, and then I'll come in here and give y'all my personal opinion on that. Uh, I've got something else lined up that I'm going to do. I'm not going to do all these in the next, like, three days or nothing. I'm going to spread them out probably over about three weeks. Maybe have one video a week where I do something that has to do with like politics or issues going on around the world and stuff like that. Uh, weekly shoutouts. I need to get to that because I don't think I have done that this week. Uh, the YouTube shoutouts are going to go to, of course, my buddy uh, Frank Everett. Flow Grown Dipping, that's F-L-O-G-R-O-W-N space Dipping, D-I-P-P-I-N-G. Uh, my next one is going to be for Chase Williams. Uh, y'all go give him a subscribe, look at some of his videos if y'all have not already. Uh, the next one will be NC Dipper 18, that's capital N, capital C, Dipper 18. Uh... Hmm. My next one is Dikey Dipper, D Y K E Y Dipper. Uh, both of these are capital. Y'all go subscribe to him and everything. Uh, that'd be it for the Instagram shoutouts. Or, uh, the YouTube shoutouts. Instagram shoutouts will go to... French Dipper. French underscore Dipper, my bad. Uh... Y'all go uh, follow him. Hmm. Y'all go give official Zachary one uh, follow. That's official Z A K A R Y one.
and Texas underscore dipping 97 or TX dipping underscore 97 I'm sorry so y'all go give them guys a follow and uh that'll be it for the weekly shout outs uh I'll be back to y'all tomorrow with another video probably a little bit earlier and uh that's it for me today you guys and uh i will see you guys tomorrow